One of the EKG images you will see frequently on US only step 1 and step 2 CK is torsa de point. This is how to solve these clinical vignettes in less than 5 minutes. A 23 year old patient presents to the emergency room with palpitations. He tells the physician he went to a rave party yesterday and drank alcohol. Three days ago he received an antibiotic for pneumonia. The student states that he is proud of his immune system as the previous doctor stated that his lungs look much worse than his mild cough suggests. Medical history also suggests the presence of mild depression under treatment. The EKG is shown. What caused the palpitations in this patient? Macrolides, Jarvell Nielsen disease, TCIs or hypocalcemia? Leave the answer in the comments below. The answer is A. The patient had mycoplasma pneumonia, which leads to an atypical pneumonia. Atypical pneumonia is also called walking pneumonia. Treatment for mycoplasma pneumonia and pneumonia is represented by macrolides. Also, his acute alcohol consumption inhibited the cytochrome P450. This enzyme is responsible for macrolide metabolism. Thus, the macrolide concentration increased and led to TDP. If you want to support the growth of this channel, then head to the Patreon page. The link is in the description. Torsa du Pont is seen as a sinusoidal wave on the EKG. Untreated, Torsa du Pont will develop into ventricular fibrillation. There are four major causes of Torsa du Pont. Firstly, hypomagnesemia. Secondly, hypocalcemia. And thirdly, hypokalemia. As much as we will try to treat hypokalemia or hypocalcemia, if the patient has low magnesium, he will still develop TDP. Lastly, drugs can cause TDP. Here we have the mnemonic, the anti-ABCDEF. Namely, we have antiarrhythmics, class 1C and 3, antibiotics, macrolides and quinolones, antipsychotics, first generation haloperidol and second generation ziprasidum, antidepressants, TCIs, antiemetics, 5-HT3 antagonists on Dancetron, and antifungals, namely azoles. In regards to the treatment, patients with TDP are treated with an IV magnesium sulfate infusion. This is similar to the treatment for preeclampsia and enclampsia, where magnesium sulfate is used to prevent seizures. If you like this USMLE related content, hit the subscribe button. The patient receives a peripheral IV line. The rate is 110 bits per minute with 120 over 80 pp and a temperature of 36 degrees Celsius. He is conscious and talkative. After seeing his labs, the physician decides on the next step in his management. A. He corrects the hypokalemia induced by vomiting after the rave party. B. He performs a cardioversion. And C. He gives magnesium sulfate. Leave your answer in the comment below. The answer is C. Giving IV magnesium sulfate. Comment with the topic you found most difficult. If you are subscribed, you will be notified when the video on the topic is uploaded.